What age were you when you had your first homosexual experience? <laughs> I just... Hey, it's there. It's I'm there. Sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry. I was Johnny. 11. And, uh, <laughs> he was a tall cowboy from Dallas. <laughs> it started out, he came in the room and went... <laughs> You started, and I hope you have an ending for this. I... Sometimes, well, you tempted me. The most awful things will pop into my head. Oh, no, that's head, true. And you, Wouldn't you it be great if you really bit, could talk? Yeah. I don't mean in a crude way, in a vulgar way. I mean, if you really could talk about, you know, things. Are you, are you married, Beverly? Yes. Oh, good. Then you understand all this. I certainly do. <laughs> I thought being with mother away so much, you no, never no, got a I, chance to. I gave up sucking my thumb a long time ago. <laughs> okay, Beverly. <laughs> Of course, New York is great, you know. You've never been out to Westbury. I, I came from Reno. A lot of hip people in Nevada. Oh, Reno's great. I got an uncle there as a leper. <laughs> I oh. see. <laughs> yeah, he's very ill. And uh, <laughs> I, Reno, Reno's a lot of fun. I, on Saturday night, you watch flies die in a truck. <laughs> so it's a great town, Reno. There's not much I can say. You're an all-around built-in dynamite little talent. You've told me this time and time again. <laughs> The way you can improve your show is to get a little taller, get rid of the funny eye, and get yourself a good job. Quit making your right guard antiperspirant with this super dry anti stain formula. Damn. Ah, eh, shit. How the hell are you gonna get it right there? I gotta get it till we get it. You can't, uh, I haven't got a crane on my ass. It's gotta, when you get it. I want to thank you, Muhammad, for butting in while I was talking. I hope your hair gets kinky again. <laughs> boy, Howard. Show your class. Smell the tape. Don Rickles is looking for a best friend. <laughs> and, and none of us want to do it with you. And I said, how long? They said, a year at the most. <laughs> I want to see you again, Regis, really. Okay. Don't come around anymore. Oh. The voice is weak. <laughs> you stink. How's that, Regis? You stink. You're not good. You stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. And never, I never want to see you again. I hope you get a boil on your neck. <laughs> What? You think people are crazy about you? They're not crazy about you. They think you're Tony Martin. That's why they're crazy about you. Really? You're going, good, good lines, really. Leave that out. Leave that out. <laughs> leave, leave out the, all those things. Listen, what? the audience thought they were going to win something. I, you got to give these people something. You people came in. You want to win something, right? You didn't come in. That's right. That's right, gang. There he is, Chiefy Dean. Doesn't go for $3. Why don't you give him a wallet with a Chester Morris picture in it, huh? How would you like... Your, years from now, people will remember you? Well, I'd say it's the many comedians, you know, that, that I was a good guy and that they loved me and you know, a funny guy and that everybody wanted to kiss me when I die and so long guy and what a sweetheart and a top guy. I'd like my family to know that I was a good father and a good husband and I'd like the public to know that uh, I was laughing along with them. You're a pussycat. <laughs> I said that to the wife and she started to put milk under the bed. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead, cancel us, you bass. It's cancel us. I dare you. <laughs> well, that, well, I can see they... one guy from ABC. Cancel him. They were. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, well, why would they do that? It's a hit. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. I'm uh, laughing. Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute, y your ring, here's your ring. Oh, I'm sorry, give me my ring back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sit in that big dumper tonight and watch jewelry come out. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, here's your Lou Ehrlich. <laughs> Lou Ehrlich, this. Oh, Lou who, you, you got me crying for you, you boo, boo boo. Okay. <laughs> okay. On my show in Vegas, this is the truth, ladies. And he came backstage and he said, you know, Don, you were great. I'm going to call. Why don't you call up and maybe you'll get the job? Call up the show. <laughs> Frank, I did what you said, and now I got the job. I can't thank you enough, Frank. He really Frank, said you're that. a moron. You're right. Well, you're right. Get out of here, stalling your ass. Stalling enough. 
I, I always get the directors that never like to go home. I'm the only guy that wants to see his family. I always get surrounded by guys that are in heat, that don't want to go home, want to bang a moose, a lamp, anything. I want to go home and lay on the couch. That's my cancer. They think I love my work. The manager keeps saying, isn't this great? The lights, the state. All right. Oh, sit up straight. Ah, sit up your ass. <laughs> oh, button the coat. Wardrobe guy's right on top of everything. Where is he? Taking a nap. Five, four, three, two. My men are tired and sick. We can only hold out two more days. <laughs> Signed, General Brian Donlevy. But the most, the most she's, she's waiting to get into the game. She's got her mind on other things. I'm I sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. Anyway, uh... But now I got a television stays on after midnight now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how about, how about, how about shut up? <laughs> anyway, uh, What's your name, kid? <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> What's your name? Ron! <laughs> What's your last name, Jim? <laughs> you better answer me or the general will wipe you off. <laughs> What's your last name, Jim? Take your time. Look on your underwear. Maybe it's stencil. What's your last name, Jim? What? Jim Mulholland? I'm in the business 20 years. I don't have a joke for a dumbbell that's named Mulholland. What are you, a road? Hope you make a left and go right into yourself. with Dave. <laughs> you're sitting there like you're the Monsignor in, in Chicago or something. She's laying in bed with the jewelry signaling ships. <laughs> what do you do? You sit in the farm and watch a bird die. And every time we made love, she started a whistle. <laughs> you were great, though. Boy, you're, like a, you're like a little mouse in a state prison. <laughs> if he was alive, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be out here with wheels on my ass sitting like this. <laughs> I didn't know if I stooped or made tea. I'm saying she's a, a lovely woman. She is. She used to be a hooker for the FBI. Oh, no, she... Pass me my pants. I'm a Jew in Idaho for the corn convention. <laughs> I think I can get to that tree. What do you want me to do? Drop my pants and fire a rocket? Billy, right on, man. It's great. And thanks a million for dressing for the show. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Billy. You're real cute. I hope you go to the barber and he makes a mistake. Anyway, here's Billy Idol singing White Wedding. Billy. Quit making your right guard antiperspirant with this super dry anti stain formula. Damn. Eh, shit. How the hell are you going to get it? Right there, I got to get it till we get it. You can't. Uh, I haven't got a crane on my ass. It's got to. When you get it. No, actually, I don't know, because I thought that I would never want to do this show with you. Now, why? <laughs> now, let's, let's explore this a little. Why? Because you thought I was... Uh, uh... An ass. They're not booing, they're just chanting, share, <laughs> share. <laughs> and, and of course, for you folks at home who may have missed that, what she said was she thought I was an awfully nice guy. No, you're Catholic and I'm a Jew and Sammy, you're black. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts which they keep it quiet, you know, Robert Redford's Jason Robards. Were you on uh, scholarship, though? Uh, no, 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 I just walked in and started acting. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't get a scholarship, you pay, you gotta oh, audition. I, don't I be thought... a dumbbell, I hate a dumbbell. <laughs> I mean, read the paper, know the questions. I mean, what is this, Thump the Stars? Of course, like you came in now with the bandana on your head. Now, this is good if you're cleaning an elevator. But uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be vicious about it. In fact, when I take a good look, Ruth, the whole outfit is ridiculous. But the whole idea is to laugh at ourselves. And that's what I'm doing. I'm laughing at you. I'm perfect. We've had, a, we've, had a, we've had a great life together. Just keep giving them the jewelry and they keep laying there. Now you... Now I... 
as a Sorelli. <laughs> Gable was always nice. And he always, I always sat in front of his trailer and kidded around with him. And Jack Warden comes out and he said, listen, tonight we're going to do something good. While Gable's on the set, you and I are going to get undressed. We go into his dressing room and we lay on the bed and we'll act like we're two gay guys having a good time. Why? It's my dressing room. I'm not going to do it. Well, I'm not going to do it. I think somebody's in there clock. He says, thank you, It's clock, Gable. I'm coming in. We open the door and there he sees the two of us laying on the bed in our underwear, hugging each other. And Gable goes, I can't believe it. These guys are fags. These kids are fags. I can't believe it. Down, down. God damn it, they're fags. <laughs> And standing over the bed, and Jay goes, and they have to say, all right, Jay, just sit quiet. We're going to punch you once and hope the jaw snaps up. Mm. <laughs> oh, your burgers, oh. Thank you, Thank you very Take much. Take a look at him. He can't drink a soda without dribbling all over. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest, for God's sake. This man's a moose. You put him over the fireplace, nobody's going to know the difference. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Here's your boo. It's going to be a race riot. No, no. Let's have the audience. Don, just turn your head this way. Is that a coconut? <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Spend each day the color of the leaves. And then the... Ah, right. That's enough singing. This stuff isn't working. <laughs> Sorry, Groper. Sorry. No dental plan is worth this. I'm out of here. I gotta get a good job. They ruined my career with this with Muppets. No, don't I don't need you, no, you don't. dummy. Look at you. You must have come out of your mother and hit the wall. <laughs> no, but, but if you walk out now, you... Don't. Yeah. Oh. Mm, now I've seen everything. Good. You but, think you think Tommy's going to stay Dodger manager? There's talk that he might be going to St. Pete as yeah. the Piazza. I, I really think I think he'll, he'll stay with the Dodgers. Right. I think he I think he believes that there is a chance for them to finish above Houston. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Houston's having a great year. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> everybody's having a great year except the Dodgers. You know, Henry Rodriguez the other night. Did you see him? He was Not out in the outfield going, "That's over my head." <laughs> he didn't even run for it. He just went, "It's over my head." <laughs> It was great, and Lenny Harris is at second base going, oh, the game's on, you know. So This is a, this is a struggling team, I guess, is what you were Struggling? That's yeah. a wild guess. A wild guess. Struggling. Kevin Gross is on the mound, you know, and he got a, he got a no-hitter, and ever since then you can't talk to him. He just sits alone in a dugout smelling his glove. <laughs> and Tom Candiotti throws that, you know, that... The knuckle. That, yeah, that funny pitch, and his arm is like this at home, you know. They, they put him in a VA hospital and go, make your wrist work, you know. <laughs> But they, they, got, they got a great future. Kip Gross, they bring in. Then you know the game's over. Say, on behalf of the whole cast, Clint, I'm fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, Clint, you got all the lines and you just let us stand around. And, well, you've been a great host to us, really. And standing next to you, I get the feeling you're a building and I'm a bad Fiat car or something. But you're a marvelous guy. Telly Savalas, your co-star, said to me tonight uh, at dinner. <laughs> Man is cracking up. Well, he's staying at the Parco, you know. I don't know. That's a different hotel. Wow. A different hotel. Let me ask you this: <laughs> well, Do you, do you feel? Do you feel in your part? Do you, I mean, the role of Kelly. Have you have you given it some thought, <laughs> Clint? Clint, over here, Clint. Where are you? <laughs> what script are we talking about, anyway? How long have you had that problem, Clint? <laughs> the, uh, the, the, no, the picture, the picture of the Warriors, seriously speaking. I mean, basically, I read the script, and you read the script, and now that we both read it, let's get on a plane and go home. <laughs> Every time I turn around, he's got a day job. What is this? <laughs> the day, my God. When did you go For my book, if you buy it, I'm very grateful. My wife has jewelry and my kids want to go to college. <laughs> my grandchildren, my kids are grown. And my daughter went to USC and, and studied uh, tennis. Anyway, uh, I make fun of her because she married a rich guy. So I, want, I, want, I want people to know, and I think people do know this, that you are truly unique in the world of comedy.
Uh, you're a cultural icon, and you have uh, withstood and survived and succeeded the test of time, and America loves you. Congratulations on a wonderful <laughs> career. Thanks. 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 Hey, what's our good buddy Don? He thinks he can meet that girl. Hey, what's the bank? Hey, Brick Boy, go touch your son, boy. Hi, Cupcake. Put this hand by your blood light and you appreciate it. Well, the great taste that will fill you up and never let you down. Nice you done. Fun to watch. Make it a Bud Light. I would love to be there when you make love to her with your eyes and the way you say, not, not too fast, because my heart could stop. I know your health, your condition. How could this beautiful woman fall in love with a man that's going to die in about an hour? Oh, God. Go ahead, cancel us, you bastards. Cancel us. I dare you. <laughs> well, that, well, I can see one guy from ABC. Cancel him. They were. Oh, I didn't know. That. <laughs> Why would they do that? It's a hit. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. How uh, laughing. Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. Your ring. Here's your ring. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me my ring back. <laughs> I don't want to sit in that big dumper tonight and watch jewelry come out. Uh, anyway, okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's your Lou Ehrlich. <laughs> Lou Ehrlich, this. Oh, Lou who? Oh, you got me crying for you, you boo hoo. Boo -hoo. Mr. Burrow, call me good to you in heaven because with all your craziness and fun, you came to our house and break the fast. You came to our house on the holidays and always paid respects to my mother and to me and to my darling wife, Martha. And you, Lorna, you were blessed, as so many people have said, to have spent those years with you. I love you, man, and God bless you. You were like a, a big father to me, and I, I think of that often. May God be good to your soul. Lorna, you and the family may be strong in this time of grief. And may God bless Milton and America. Uh, <laughs> now I got a lovely wife. She just, see, I, I can't eat because we just came back from Paris and she shopped. She has a black belt in shopping. <laughs> uh, she went bananas. The woman never looked up. The bags were like this. She never looked up once. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Valentino thinks she's part of the family. Uh, it was really, it was really something. It really was. She, she went crazy. But we had a marvelous time in Paris. You ever go to Paris? No, I thought I would. You ever leave your house? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't do much, you don't do much of anything. Reno, <laughs> Reno's a lot of fun. I, on Saturday night, you watch flies die on a truck. <laughs> it's a great town, Reno. Anyway, Jack, it's always good to see you. And they don't wear anklet socks anymore. <laughs> uh, so don't worry about it. Do you, th this sounds like a canned question, but you travel around the country. Do you, do you monkey around with your material based on where you're going? If you're down in Miami or in New York versus playing Vegas or the lake out Tahoe or Reno, do you change up what you do? No, I pretty much come out, get the money, and go home early. <laughs> no, I, uh, it, uh, people are people. Uh, naturally, if you work Iowa, which I don't plan to work, <laughs> uh, you would change. If you played Minnesota, you know, mm -hmm. the German fight song. Like, uh, you know, people have, I think, an impression of you of being a big, kind of loud guy, always working, making a, the smart remarks. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> Quite fun. <laughs> so anyway, you and De Niro, you had a good rapport. You got along. Oh, yeah, it was great. We went out to dinner. It was like being alone. Uh-huh. Uh, I got my education. You really came right. for real? How'd yes. you get this job? I, I have no idea, Don. I, you know, Jack, nothing personal, but I mean, a guy like you can't handle a job. Coming from Reno, all you know how to do is go, moo, watch a cow die. I mean, <laughs> how can you have a major show here in New York and come from Reno? You con somebody. My first guest, our new ambassador to the UN, this year is poster child for rabies. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> It's so it's good to see you. I didn't know you were still on. Yo, 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 yo. But this is a good jacket. You come in tomorrow night with cotton candy, and you work the carnival. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, could I say something since I've seen you? Certainly, have gotten so old. <laughs> Look right in there and let America know you're a millionaire and you don't need them. Right. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I don't need you. No. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that to me. <laughs> uh, 
But now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but... Uh... Well, you look good. You've lost a little weight, you were saying. You yeah, I lost about 15 pounds, you know. Got to keep moving with my kind of act. <laughs> and you've got to be in shape, otherwise they come and get you. Uh, any particular kind of diet? I mean, did you find uh, something uh, special that worked for you? Well, I look at my wife and I get a little fed up. <laughs> uh, John Rickles looks like Yoda. Mm. Our next guest on Live at Five is appearing now through Sunday at the Westbury Music Fair. And each year when Don Rickles comes to town, we look forward to him being with us here on Live at Five. He always has such a good time while he's here. Uh, that's it? Yes. Thanks a million, Jack, for this big opportunity. <laughs> I swear to you, I didn't want to be on this. I didn't want to come yeah. on this thing. You made me come on, and you'll never see me again. I'm fed up. <laughs> Let me have a smell of that, too. No wonder you smell furniture with that stuff. God. Liquid amyl nitrate, Homer Formby. All right. Uh... <laughs> Got to drop that on the wife tonight. <laughs> when she gets real horny, I'll go, Nick, how about a little nickel nitro nitrate? <laughs> You've been vacationing with Newark too long, baby. Yeah, Get in the well, game here. He's good. He carries the luggage. <laughs> Not lucky in love, but now, thank God, you've met the woman of yes. your dreams. Really. Well, <laughs> and uh, my wife told me to be polite this evening. By the way, she'd be with us tonight, my lovely wife, Barbara, but unfortunately, she swam in our pool today with her jewelry on and drowned. There's no booing. There's no booing. If there's another outburst, we're going to let Bob Hope get up and do his joke. So uh, when I go down to Miami, there's a lot of my people, a lot of Jewish people down there, so I sell bread. <laughs> I see. And, uh, and uh, we have a good time around the country because the major gambling cities are, uh, are uh, the people are very with it. And, uh, of course, New York is great, you know. You've never been out to Westbury. I, I came from Reno. A lot of hip people in Nevada. Oh, Reno's great. I got an uncle there who's a leper. <laughs> I uh, see. <laughs> yeah, he's very yeah. ill. And uh, uh, you're going to be doing a show with Regis. Now, that's yeah. is that true? No, that's a, it's a mercy mission. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, you covered everything I was going to talk about, so I guess there's... Well, we can wrap it up. Get a sandwich and let's go home. <laughs> Don, you're Bad getting... Move. Am I right? Are you getting gray? Yes, Larry, I'm getting older. <laughs> doing shows like this. <laughs> you married late in life. It's been successful, though, right? Yeah. Well, have you seen her? <laughs> we've had a, we've had a, we've had a great <laughs> life together. Here. Just keep giving them the jewelry, and they keep laying there. Now you. <laughs> now I, hey, what is this? A rally? <laughs> no, you're Catholic, and I'm a Jew, and Sammy, you're black. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gonna say something? No. Oh, you, you always do? <laughs> I mean, I was toy. That's a sign of age when you start to go, hey, hey. Oh, I forgot I wanted to say something. But, uh, we went on a trip. <laughs> I don't lie. You're old. <laughs> when I met you, you were just out of Nebraska saying, get me a monkey, anybody, help me. A monkey? Well, sure. <laughs> Women were out of the question. And nobody makes me laugh as hard as you with timing jokes. Fine. <laughs> There's nobody I'd rather be pissed on than you. <laughs> well, that's what I do. I always work on the stage with my fly open. <laughs> A no, short nice. act. Okay, now. Uh... Light up those orange candles. It's Christmas time for Jews. <laughs> A good and Hanukkah to you, my friends. I hope this season feeling grows. Ba -ba -ba -boo. I know that you feel just like me, although you fixed your nose. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, <laughs> Filipino, my ass, you're a Jap. I'll tell you this. Three years in the jungle looking for your uncle. Boy, these blankets are rich and, and the nurses are dumb and the beds are uncomfortable. Complain, complain. If you don't like it here, why don't you go back where you came from? You really are an ugly baby. <laughs> You're no bargain. <laughs>
for my book. If you buy it, I'm very grateful. My wife has jewelry and my kids want to go to college. <laughs> my grandchildren, my kids are grown. They, my daughter went to USC and, and studied uh, tennis. Anyway, uh, I make fun of her because she married a rich guy. So I, want, <laughs> I, want, I want people to know, and I think people do know this, that you are truly unique in the world of comedy. Uh, you're a cultural icon, and you have uh, withstood and survived and succeeded the test of time, and America loves you. Congratulations on a wonderful career. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Hey, what's our good buddy Don? He thinks he can meet that girl. Hey, what's the bet? Hey, Brick Boy, go dust yourself off. Hi, Cupcake. Let me see if I have Bud Light in it. You appreciate it. Well, the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Nicely done. Fun to watch. Make it a Bud Light. I would love to be there when you make love to her with your eyes and the way you say, not, not too fast because my heart could stop. I know your health, your condition. How could this beautiful woman fall in love with a man that's going to die in about an hour? Oh, God. Go ahead, cancel us, you bastards. Cancel us. I dare you. <laughs> well, that, well, I can see one guy from ABC. Cancel him. They were. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, that. <laughs> Why would they do that? It's a hit. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. How <laughs> laughing. Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. Your ring. Here's your ring. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me my ring back. <laughs> I don't want to sit in that big dumper tonight and <laughs> watch jewelry come out. Uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> oh, ah, here's your Lou Ehrlich. <laughs> Lou Ehrlich, this. Oh, Lou, who you got to cry in for you, boo boo. <laughs> Mr. Burrow, call me good to you in heaven because with all your craziness and fun, you came to our house and break the fast. You came to our house on the holidays and always paid respects to my mother and to me and to my darling wife, Arthur. And you, Lorna, you were blessed, as so many people have said, that I've spent those years with you. I love you, man, and God bless you. You were like a, a big father to me, and I, I think of that often. May God be good to your soul. Lorna, you and the family may be strong in this time of grief. And may God bless Milton and America. Uh. <laughs> No, I got a lovely wife. She just, see, I, I can't eat because we just came back from Paris and she shopped. She has a black belt in shopping. <laughs> uh, she went bananas. The woman never looked up. The bags were like this. She never looked up once. <laughs> Nothing. Just, uh, Valentino thinks she's part of the family. Uh, it was really, it was really something. It, it really was. She, she went crazy. But we had a marvelous time in Paris. You ever go to Paris? No, I don't. I'm you ever leave your house? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't do much, you don't do much of anything. Reno, Reno's a lot of fun. I, on Saturday night, you watch flies die in a truck. <laughs> it's a great town, Reno. Anyway, Jack, it's always good to see you. And they don't wear anklet socks anymore. <laughs> uh, so don't worry about it. Do you, th this sounds like a canned question, but you travel around the country. Do you, do you monkey around with your material based on where you're going? If you're down in Miami or in New York versus playing Vegas or the lake out Tahoe or Reno, do you change up what you do? No, I pretty much come out, get the money, and go home early. <laughs> no, I, uh, it, uh, people are people. Uh, naturally, if you work Iowa, which I don't plan to work, <laughs> uh, you would change. If you played Minnesota, you know, the mm -hmm. German fight song. Like, uh, you know, people have, I think, an impression of you of being a big, kind of loud guy, always working, making a, the smart remarks. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you and Daenerys, you had a good rapport. You got along. Oh, yeah, it was great. We went out to dinner. It was like being alone. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh I got my education. You really came for real? How'd yes. you get this job? I, I have no idea, Don. I swear, you know, Jack, nothing personal, but I mean, a guy like you can't handle a job. Coming from Reno, all you know how to do is go, Moo, watch a cow die. I mean, <laughs> how can you have a major show here in New York and come from Reno? You con somebody. My first guest, our new ambassador to the UN, this year's poster child for rabies. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> It's so it's good to see you. I didn't know you were still on. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a good jacket. You come in tomorrow night with cotton candy, you work the carnival. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, 
Could I say something to Mr. Certainly. Senior? Wait, you've gotten so old. <laughs> Look right in there and let America know you're a millionaire and you don't need them. Right. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I don't need you. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. <laughs> but now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but... Uh... Well, you look good. You've lost a little weight, you were saying. You yeah, I lost about 15 pounds, you know. Got to keep moving with my kind of act. <laughs> and you got to be in shape. Otherwise, they come and get you. Uh, any particular kind of diet? I mean, did you find uh, something uh, special that worked for you? Well, I look at my wife and I get a little fed up. <laughs> uh, Don Rickles looks like Yoda. Mm. Mm. Our next guest on Live at Five is appearing now through Sunday at the Westbury Music Fair. And each year when Don Rickles comes to town, we look forward to him being with us here on Live at Five. He always has such a good time while he's here. Uh, that's it? Yes. Thanks a million, Jack, for this big opportunity. <laughs> I swear to you, I didn't want to be on this. Uh, I didn't want to come yeah. on this thing. You made me come on, and you'll never see me again. I'm <laughs> fed up. Let me have a smell of that, too. No wonder you smell furniture with that stuff. God. Liquid amyl nitrate, Homer Formby. All right, uh... <laughs> Gotta drop that on the wife tonight. When she gets real horny, I'll say, Nick, how about a little nickel nitro nitrate? You've been vacationing with Newark too long, baby. Yeah, Get in the well, game here. he's good. He carries the luggage. <laughs> Not lucky in love, but now, thank God, you've met the woman of yes. your dreams. Really? Well... <laughs> told me to be polite this evening. By the way, she'd be with us tonight, my lovely wife, Barbara, but unfortunately, she swam in our pool today with her jewelry on and drowned. There's no booing. There's no booing. If there's another outburst, we're going to let Bob Hope get up and do his joke. So uh, when I go down to Miami, there's a lot of my people, a lot of Jewish people down there, so I sell bread. <laughs> I see. And, uh, and uh, we have a good time around the country because the major gambling cities are, uh, are uh, the people are very with it. And, uh, of course, New York is great, you know. You've never been out to Westbury. I, I came from Reno. A lot of hip people in Nevada. Oh, Reno's great. I got an uncle there as a leper. <laughs> I uh, see. <laughs> yeah, he's very yeah. ill. And uh, uh, you're going to be doing a show with Regis. Now, that's yeah. is that true? No, that's a it's a mercy mission. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like you me. covered everything I was going to talk about, so I guess. Uh, well, we can wrap it up. Get a sandwich and let's go home. <laughs> Don, you're Bad getting. Move. Am I right? Are you getting gray? Yes, Larry. I'm getting older. <laughs> doing shows like this. <laughs> you married late in life. It's been successful, though, right? Yeah, well, have you seen her? <laughs> we've, had a, we've, had a, we've had a great <laughs> life together. <laughs> Just keep giving them the jewelry and they keep laying there. Now you... <laughs> now I... Hey, what is this, a rally? <laughs> no, you're a Catholic and I'm a Jew and Sammy, you're black. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gonna say something? No. Oh, you, you always do? <laughs> I mean, I was toy. That's a sign of age when you start to go, hey, hey. Oh, I forgot I wanted to say something. But uh, we went on a trip. <laughs> I, I don't lie. You're old. <laughs> when I met you, you were just out of Nebraska saying, get me a monkey, anybody, help me. A monkey? Well, sure. <laughs> Women were out of the question. <laughs> And nobody makes me laugh as hard as you with timing jokes. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's nobody I'd rather be pissed on than you. <laughs> well, that's what I do. I always work on the stage with my fly open. <laughs> A no, short so act. Okay, now. Uh... <laughs> Light up those orange candles. It's Christmas time for Jews. A good Hanukkah to you, my friends. I hope this season feeling grows. Ba -ba -ba -boo. I know that you feel just like me, although you fixed your nose. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese. <laughs> Filipino, my ass, you're a Jap. I'll tell you this. Three years in the jungle looking for your uncle. Boy, these blankets are riching.
And the nurses are dumb. And the beds are uncomfortable. Complain, complain. If you don't like it here, why don't you go back where you came from? You really are an ugly baby. <laughs> You're no bargain. There's not much I can say. You're an all-around built-in dynamite little talent. You've told me this time and time again. <laughs> The way you can improve your show is to get a little taller, get rid of the funny eye, and get yourself a good job. And I say from the bottom of my heart, really, you're not a well person. You need care and help. You dribble all over yourself. You wet your pants. Don't you think it's time for a checkup, Ed? How long can you walk around the street touching yourself and think this is normal, Ed? Man has one daughter, God bless her. Could have had a lot of children, but he has a cough that screws it right up. <laughs> Spitting and hacking his way to fame. Let me put it to you another way, Ed. You're a pain in the ass. Stories, really. Now, you don't I get... saw the lineup for the rest of the show. You can take a nap. Yeah, go to sleep right after this segment. Yeah. This, but this is not exactly on fire either, you know. <laughs> I'm rolling. You're, you're doing poorly. I'm dying, yes. <laughs> I being a frightened guy, and to this day I'm frightened, too. When they Are say, you done? I swear. Yeah. You know, it's a fool that walks out on the stage and says, I'm there. You know, every night, you know, I Don't say, believe anybody. will they live? My first guest, our new ambassador to the UN, this year's poster child for rabies. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> I'm not going on. Come back. Stagecoach. No. Wait, wait a minute. Everyone seems to like us so far. Yeah. Yeah. You know, despite your ratty hairdo, I think we're going to be real friends. Bosom buddies. <laughs> I'll go make the plans. I can't wait. I'm dying to get to know you better. You do, and you're in for a big surprise. <laughs> You, you old hussy, you, trying to steal my boyfriend away from me right before my very eyes. What could he possibly see in you? What do you have that I haven't got? Don't tell her, don't tell her. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't go out with him. Why not? I hear he's a good dancer. <laughs> but what if he finds out you're a man? Then what will happen? I'll lead. <laughs> Honey, don't worry your pretty little head and all that other pretty stuff. Everyone knows that I kid about all peoples. I'd like everybody to know there's no discrimination in Las Vegas. They take everybody's money. I was home stuffing a pilgrim. But uh, I look forward to Thanksgiving. Hey, really? Yeah, it's a great Jewish holiday. And, uh, pilgrims were all Jews. They came out of Maine. A little payas and little turkeys under their arm. <laughs> anyway, pardon me? I did. Don Rickles is looking for a best friend. <laughs> and, and none of us want to do it with you. And I said, how long? They said, a year at the most. <laughs> Tell me about your summer plans this summer. You and Newhart going away? Yeah, we're going to go down to the beach and attack a lifeguard. <laughs> On the sea of trials, we will swing along Broadway. Dance. And I would imagine that Don could count his very close friends on the fingers of both hands, true? And by friends, I mean people that you can relate to, you can confide to, and realize no matter what you say that is going to be kept in confidence. And I like to feel that I am one, I don't want to speak for Don, that I am one of his very close friends. And I think that's important to Don, because queers need friends. Ah! Wonderful. Holy Christ, what a pill Don. That's the greatest pill. That's the greatest pill Don has ever heard in my life. <laughs> let's, let's get it out in the open. I'm happy to appear at this luncheon with Friars to honor Don if it'll prevent him from becoming a member of this club. We got enough fags running around up in that place. What's your name, kid? Take your time. What's your name? Wrong! 
What's your last name, Jim? You better answer me or the general will wipe you off. What's your last name, Jim? Take your time. Look on your underwear. Maybe it's stencil. What's your last name, Jim? What? Jim Mulholland? I'm in the business 20 years. I don't have a joke for a dumbbell that's named Mulholland. What are you, a road? <laughs> Hope you make a left and go right into yourself. Gable was always nice, and he always, I always sat in front of his trailer and kidded around with him. And Jack Warden comes out and says, listen, tonight we're going to do something good. While Gable's on the set, you and I are going to get undressed. We go into his dressing room, and we lay on the bed, and we'll act like we're two gay guys having a good time. Why? It's my dressing room. I don't, they're not going to do it. Well, I'm not going to do it. I think somebody's in there clock. He says, thank you, It's clock, Gable. I'm coming in. We open the door, and there he sees the two of us laying on the bed in our underwear, hugging each other. And Gable goes... I can't believe it. These guys are fags. These kids are fags. I can't believe it. Down, down. God damn it, they're fags. I was in the Philippines on a PT boat, a uh, motor torpedo boat. Were you in the service? Yes, I, I was. Ours? Yes. I, yes, I was. Uh, <laughs> well, I was in the service. I was in the Philippines, which is great climbing. You hang around Manila and the guy in Gulf and Cebu, and you get malaria, and you die usually. <laughs> I don't want to see you again, Regis, really. Don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. Oh, you stink. <laughs> How's that, Regis? You stink. You're not good. You stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. And never, I never want to see you again. I hope you get a boil on your neck. You, Roberts, you live next to me at the beach. You know that. <laughs> Thanks for all the visits. Anyway, uh, I'm living about two blocks from you. Broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. Closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just knock. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you, Muhammad, for butting in while I was talking. I hope your hair gets kinky again. <laughs> Had a boy, Howard. Show your class. Smell the tape. Bill Shatner, thank God you're off because you're old. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy is a Jew that had his ears fixed. <laughs> Foster Kelly, whatever the hell he is, he passed away about a year ago. I came here for the lunch. I've been at many affairs in my life. This lunch will get an award. The NAB raised five dollars so we could all have salami sandwiches. Let me put it another way, it stinks. Barbara would, she, she'd do all the, you know, planning. You know, we have to visit this, we have to do this, we have to do that. Don and I were just along for the ride. <laughs> I said to Barbara one time, I went to change some money at the airport, and they were sitting in the terminal. I said, Barbara, if we got on a plane and flew home right now, they would still be here two years from now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a lovely wife. We just came back from Paris, and she shopped. She has a black belt in shopping. Uh, she went bananas. The woman never looked up. The bags were like this. She never looked up once. <laughs> Nothing. Just, uh, Valentino thinks she's part of the family. I know you don't want to think about it, and neither do I, but the time comes for everybody. At your memorial service. Mm. <laughs> do you hear something? And, no. Oh. Uh, we hope no time soon. But at your memorial service, what music do you want played, or do you want music played? Well, if I'm dead, who's going to say? Unless I push a rock aside and go, play that! You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I adore him, as everybody knows. It's Frank Sinatra. He's, he's my hero as far as that goes. And, uh, I, I would love to have him singing. And I would love to have uh, maybe a few friends that I adore and love say a few words. That's about it.
And what would you like for them to say? Greatness has gone. <laughs> that's a joke. No, I don't know what they're going to say. That is then. not a joke. That is not a joke. Might be well said. And what he did, uh, greatness is gone. <laughs> And he is appearing at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena tomorrow night with Frank Sinatra. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program, Don Rickles. Don! Hey, Don! Anyway, it's good to see you, David. Nice I'm delighted you. you're making a lot of money in oh, your big you. theater. I don't think it's going to last. <laughs> Like a moron, I went in the back and I cried, wet my pants, and went to bed early. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty picture. Yeah. But Don, um... <laughs> okay, Dave got off a ripper. <laughs> Hold it down in the balcony, otherwise Lincoln's gonna get it. <laughs> anyway, so look at this. The guy went, Lincoln's alive, uh, and Paul went, Lincoln's alive. <laughs> Go back to Canada, put some uh, skates on your face, and skate. <laughs> Don, are you just here to plug Frank's album? Is that what this is? I mean, it's, it's a very generous gift, and I'll take this home and I'll listen to it tonight with my special you, lady. You, you, you. <laughs> thing that really knocked me out is I had not met your, uh, your wife, and she was just wonderful. Couldn't have been more personable, more charming, more normal. That was the surprising part. What did you expect to see? Some broad on top of the roof at Disneyland going, ah, 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 ah. Well, yeah, kind of, kind of. That's what I expected. <laughs> you're, oh, you're I'm going to uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah, I'll make you feel at home, okay? Yeah. Those of you in Pittsburgh. Ah, 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 ah. Eight o'clock, Eddie. Let's go bowling. <laughs> Frank, I love you. Gumbachi, na berini, berini, bobati. Utakti, dirinti, bunti, tungan, derbante. I say this for my heart. Shut up. I hate when a when a spade butts in. Now you say spade one more time and there'll be troops in front of your door tomorrow. They can't do nothing because I tap dance. <laughs> I look around this room and this is the home of the blacks. And I say three. Anyway, uh, God bless you, black people. I love you. I really do. As you're laughing here, I'm sure one of you guys is up in my hotel room robbing me. They told me to come out here and talk to the stars, so... Well, you know, that's right. <laughs> Folks, don't, please don't boo this man. He was a Marine like Don Adams, only Don Adams weighed 120 pounds. This man really went to the islands and took fried rice off soldiers with guns. Uh, but, uh, Lee, it's awfully nice. I know your busy schedule of uh, hanging around by the gate. Uh, but, uh, I, by the way, uh, are you happy with Prime Cut, your new film with Gene Hackman? Are these toughies, Lee? Hey, if I'm going too fast, Lee, you let me know. Champ, cover me. I've already done it. I did that a year ago. Oh, wonderful. Then we'll go on to something else. <laughs> the cricket stuff again. They seem to enjoy that. No, no, I'll do what I want, David. <laughs> okay. I don't need you to tell me what I do, David. You understand? Oh, I understand. You do your stuff with these young comedians yeah. that come on. I put in a lot of years. <laughs> this is a big shock for me to be on this Mickey Mouse show. <laughs> don't turn on me. <laughs> don't turn on me. We've known each other a long time. Right. And when you got this job, you said to me, Don, remember? Right. Remember when I drove by your house and you went, Don! <laughs> by the way, you live in Malibu, don't you? Uh, I have, a, I have a, a house dress. there. No, I have a and house there. And I have a house there, too, and I never see you. I've been at Johnny's place. Here's a... I'm Carson, we're talking about Johnny Carson, a magnificent place. He just invited yeah. with yeah. the tennis court, you know, yeah. and about 39 acres, and mm -hmm. the lovely lady, Alex, and they just sit there going, Ball. <laughs> 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 And once in a while, your name comes up, and he well, says, uh, there, right? here, here, here's some food for him. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you worry. No, as I'm long as worried. Dave Tebbett's alive, you're going to have well, a TV good. set. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to say, I'm, um, I'm 
delighted that I could be a part of you two meeting for the first time. I mean, I'm a big fan of this guy. He's, he's amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> And Don, is there anything you'd like to say about Ozzy? <laughs> I could have used you during World War II. <laughs> oh, bad. No. It's interesting. No, it's, it's a, he's a great, and it's a, it's a delight for me. And your lovely wife, who I've never met also. But it's a pleasure to meet you and know your, your great career. It really has been great. Not as great as mine, but... <laughs> But I'm older than you, so I could say that. How, how old a gentleman are you, Ozzy? Uh, 61. You look it. <laughs> how would you like, your years from now, people to remember you? Well, I'd say it's the many comedians, you know, that, that I was a good guy and that they loved me and I was a funny guy and that everybody wanted to kiss me when I die and so long guy and what a sweetheart and a top guy. I'd like my family to know that I was a good father and a good husband. And I'd like the public to know that uh, I was laughing along with them. You're a pussycat. <laughs> I said that to the wife and she started to put milk under the bed. <laughs> Quit making your right guard antiperspirant with this super dry anti-stain formula. Damn. Ah, eh, shit. Well, how the hell are you going to get it? Right there, I've got to get it till we get it. You can't. Uh, I haven't got a crane on my ass. It's got a... When you get it. Here we go. Is there any way that you... No, go away, putz. The only way is we keep doing it till we get it right. You want to get to be little five? We're going to make it now. Easy. <laughs> is there any way, putz? You, you, you're you talking on the phone. How are you going to do? Angle up. Tip. What am I, putz? Let's do this shit and get out of here. Uh, Run! Oh, God. Go ahead, cancel us, you bass. It's cancel us. I dare you. <laughs> well, that, well, I can see one guy from ABC. Cancel him. They were. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, well, why would they do that? It's a hit. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. I'm uh, laughing. Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. Your, your ring. Here's your ring. Oh, I'm sorry. Give him my ring back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sit in that big dumper tonight and watch jewelry come out. Uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, here's your Lou Ehrlich. <laughs> Lou Ehrlich this. Oh, uh, Lou who, you, you got me crying for you, boo-hoo. Okay. Okay. My luck, I figured the champ would turn on me and like a dumbbell, you turned out to be the hot <laughs> Lee, you never, you never went to college, did you? No, no. No, good. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Lee, let me, let me ask you another thing. How does, how does a guy like you with that big booming personality uh, get to be an Academy Award winner and roll right along? How, how, do you, how do you account for that, Lee? Because I know you're fun at parties like you are now. You're really warming me up. There's really not much sense in explaining it to you. No, I guess not. <laughs> Let me ask you another thing, Lee. I think what he's trying to say, if he had a lower IQ, he could enjoy your conversation. <laughs> what is your name, dear? Sue Parkinson. <laughs> You're a very pretty woman. Thank you. Are you married? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love him? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get the car warmed up, Ed. <laughs> I kid you, I'm happily married. My, I know. I really am. I'm married 13 years. I, wife just lays on the bed every night and goes, Is that about it? Was your How long did your mother live? Was she she was 83. So was that how many years ago? Was that? Oh, about 20 now. 20 so, years ago, so. yeah. She must have loved your success. Well, she lived it through me. She, she, you, you would remember. She thought she was Sophie Tucker. You know, she, <laughs> she used to be at a party. She's the first one to get up. Some of these days, you know, you, 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 you hit a bell. But was she, she a stage mother? Yeah, and, uh, no, she wasn't the one that would. Not in the she, negative sense. No, she was the stage mother in the sense that, that she pushed me. She would come to a club and say to the boss, wasn't he marvelous? Did you enjoy? She's American born. Well, very bright. Great. Was yeah. this oh, man well, marvelous? Well, tell the well, truth. Tell the truth. Yeah. Now she was. Tell the truth. Yeah. Now she would. You like my Don, didn't do you? Yes. And she That's would what do she'd that. say. But quietly, she said, 
why can't you be like Alan King? Why can't you be nice? Why do you pick on people? Yes. And when people would come around, isn't he wonderful? Isn't he great? But it really, she never really got it. In her she heart. never got what it was that made you great. That's it. That's it. You said it better than me. Never could well. figure it out. You were referring to that. What is that word you use that refers to someone who's asking too, for too much? What is it? It's called a chaza. Uh, what is that? Is that a, how do you spell that? What am I, with the Mossad? I don't know. I, just, I didn't know what you used really the word. I heard you use the word, and I didn't know what it meant. Well, when it's a Jew hour, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about a chaza. Here's a man that's a nebbish. Right, and that is a... That means, as you can see, does nothing, just sits there and smells his hand. for. <laughs> And that's a nebbish? That's a nebbish. Should we... Hello, hello, is this on? Is, it, is this on? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, la Larry. God, he's got glaucoma. Sean, I'm going to tell you this before I say anything. It's a mistake. I'm going to give you a kiss, but somebody put a chair under my ass so I can reach it. How do you make love to you? You must come in on an angle or something. I would love to be there when you make love to her. With your eyes and the way you say, not, not too fast because my heart could stop. I know your health, your condition. How could this beautiful woman fall in love with a man that's going to die in about an hour? And whoever picked out this costume, Emmett Kelly died. He must have gave you this outfit. All you have to put is a kazoo on your ass and you're set. On record. And you really look like you need a vacation. Yeah, you dummy. The one driving around in the smog. Let me tell you about the Sahara Summer Spectacular. For only $42 per person, you get two nights and three days deluxe accommodation at the Sahara Hotel. The deal, huh? You also get to see the fantastic Fire and Ice show at the Hacienda Hotel. Then when you get back to the Sahara, you get a free lounge show, including a cocktail. And if that's not enough, they're also throwing in two buffet breakfasts. And by the way, you champagne suckers, there's free nightly champagne parties. So go call the Sahara Hotel or your travel agent and make your reservation. The Sahara Summer Spectacular. Three days, two nights, and lots of extras for just $42 per person double occupancy. Tell them Don Nichols sent you. Can you remember that? Yes, Hi, this is Don Rickles. I am so thrilled to be on the Joan Rivers Roast. And thank you for that money that you're paying me. Oh, boy. Joni, I'm so happy for you. I remember you when you were a guy. And now look at you. With that new plastic surgery and everything. I love the eyes. Do you ever think of living in Shanghai? Have you ever thought of going for the business of selling masks? Masks. And you just walk around and you go Halloween behind a bush and go, little boy. Whoop. And congratulations on being... On it at a roast, which means nothing to the world. But I'm glad you're happy with it. This thing is a definite bomb, and I'm glad you're in it, because it'll keep your chin up. <laughs> Forget show business. Go to a hospital and get it fixed. Tell them to break the whole thing and start all over again. I love you. God bless. Get out of here. It's throwing your ass. It's throwing enough. I, I always get the directors that never like to go home. I'm the only guy that wants to see his family. I always get surrounded by guys that are in heat, that don't want to go home, want to bang a moose, a lamp, anything. I want to go home and lay on the couch. That's my cancer. They think I love my work. The manager keeps saying, isn't this great? The lights, the state. All right. Oh, sit up, ah, sit up your ass. <laughs> oh, button the coat. Wardrobe guy's right on top of everything. Where is he? Taking a nap. Five, four, three... Two. My men are tired and sick. We can only hold out two more days. <laughs> Signed, General Brian Donlevy. I swear that it's true. I love to do what I do. To share this laughter I give. For just a little love from...
What? You think cre people are crazy about you? They're not crazy about you. They think you're Tony Martin. That's why they're crazy about you. Really? You're going, good, good lines, really. Leave that out. Leave that out. <laughs> leave, leave out the, all those things. Listen, what? the audience thought they were going to win something. I, you got to give these people something. You people came in, you want to win something, right? You didn't come in. That's right. That's right, gang. There he is, Chiefy Dean. Doesn't go for three dollars. Why don't you give him a wallet with a Chester Morris picture in it? Huh? Oh, the best one. I, he said, "Go out to the mountain and take the picture out on, on appreciation." It is true. And I and I put on the uniform. I said, "Tommy, you'll get fine. Don't worry. Just go out there." I walk out to the mountain. In the game, huh? In the middle of the game. No, in Detroit. <laughs> How did you get this show? I don't know. <laughs> Moron. Moron. Telling a story. Where do you think it was? You? <laughs> just put out. Just sit there sorry, and no. hope to God you got the job. <laughs> I, can, I can go anyway, in the back no, if you no, want. No, I, I, I love this. Man. Listen, so I go out to the mound. Mm -hmm. Big Mexican kids out there. Mm -hmm. And I said, give me the ball. They go, you can't take that out of the game. Who the hell are you? Who are you? I said, the, the manager, I'm taking the ball. You can't take the ball if I cry that loud. Give me back. And, and I grabbed the ball. With that Harry Windlestead, who is gone, rest his soul, was a great umpire. He runs out, rips off the mask, and he says, It's Don Rickles. Can you get me two tickets to the Dean Martin show? This is a, a, a doormat that uh, Don sent us. You know, normally people just send the new hearts. But, of course, he had to have his name on it. Best friends with the Rickles. Even toward the end, the last the last week or ten days, it was that keep my name alive. Clint, I say it, nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy actor. <laughs> Spielberg and all these guys at the table, oh, we know Clint, I know you. Clint's idea of a good time is sitting on a pickup truck watching his dog bark. <laughs> I look around this room and this is the home of the blacks. And I see three. And I, uh... God bless you black people, I love you, I really do. Uh... As you're laughing here, I'm sure one of you guys is up in my hotel room robbing me. I just saw my wife going up the aisle with the jewelry and the stole. <laughs> you can be with her, you dumbbell. No, I, I, I kid. I'm very happily married. And, uh, you know, I was my married... Quite an accomplishment. Yes, in today's times with everybody. Thanks so much. <laughs> why, why do you want to put me in a rest home? Karen, uh, Easy Rider was your first picture. Mm -hmm. and you... No, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't? No. Oh. You're a big boy now was my first picture. You're a big boy now. <laughs> yes, no, I played a little girl next door. Very sweet. I see. No, it looks lovely. <laughs> Want to go on a hike? <laughs> Where? Karen, <laughs> any place. Yeah. Uh, how did you, you know, the picture I saw was five easy, uh, yeah. I want to... <laughs> I want to check that out. These piano pieces. Five easy pieces was the picture. Piano pieces. Something. Whatever. And I thought I thought you did a fantastic performance in, in that. Uh... Hey, uh, are we in the way? <laughs> We're just I'm... sitting here waiting for a question. I'm. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Let me, dear. It's my custom. It just it brings us closer together. The message was, you know where. <laughs> uh, when my mother passed away, my mother, my mother made me laugh when she was dying, rest her soul. She was in the hospital with masks and everything. And she was only in her late 70s in those days, you know. And, uh, and she had emphysema, bad. And I said, doctor, how is he? He said, oh, no. I said, can I go in and talk to her? I said, yeah. And it's a true story. And I walked by and said, mom, dear, it's me. And she lifted up the mask and she said, 
It's that slow in Vegas. <laughs> what a wonderful story. It's and you that say slow. that story has the added advantage of being true? Yeah, it is true. What a wonderful memory to have you. Oh, I never forgot that. Mohammed, I heard your speech, and I say publicly and honestly, you were a great champion. You've had some great fights. The Joe Frazier fight, the Kenny Norton fight, you and I know you took a dive. <laughs> Angelo Dundee, his trainer, went, lay down, your mother, lay down. <laughs> Don Meredith, who is dumber than Muhammad, is explaining it. Ass and dignity. Don't let it happen. I, I don't think I can handle it, Jim. Jim, this Jim, sure as hell ain't Jim, the way to handle it. Hold, hold me, help me, Jim. You can never make those jokes again. Oh, this is so silly. This came around rough. Silly, silly. What a, what a night, boy. Soft lips.